Hey Stampin' Friends, Darlene with Darlene Stamps. Thanks for joining me for another episode um, of Paper Pumpkin on steroids. <laughs> no, it's actually Paper Pumpkin August 2020 and it is actually World's Greatest um, Instructions. And I thought that was kind of interesting and the, the idea of this uh, is quite unique maybe not my favorite but as as i try to do with my channel is i try to take the kit and kind of expand it um i do try to stay within the confines of the kit but as you can see on this one um i wound up using some white and um the bumblebee is the in color and i use some of that as well as some extra pacific point but the um, ink comes with it. I actually took the little sequences and I popped them out and we'll use them. This is the extra Stampin' Up! Uh, embellishment um, that I did. So anyhow, I want to get started. This is actually one of the alternates, but we'll go through that in just a minute. Because I want to be able to focus and I've already been stamping, as you can see, to try to get some extra things here. And um, one thing that I was trying to do was um, oh, put together some, not only just some ideas, but um, sometimes I can get out of the box, which is great, but it, it helps to stay within the confines of it. So um, I didn't use all of the stamps this time, but what I'm going to do is um, go through the kit and kind of show you what I did and my twist on it. So this gives the instructions and the um, the paper that came with it, the, the argyle, I guess we'd call it, came as a card. So it would have been two sides. The first thing I did, obviously, was, chop, was cut these in half. So it's kind of like that love it, chop it thing. Um, and so they are the four by five and a quarter. So all of the bases or the cards got cut into two. So that already doubled it. So I'll put that aside. Okay, and then um, what I did was, um, and I'm going to make these so that you can kind of see. So I thought that the, um, um, the little trophies, to me, looked like little apothecaries. So um, that's what I did with mine. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do all the blues today. And then um, the next video, I'm going to do all of the greens. So that way I have enough time. So I've already kind of pre-did this so I can kind of get an idea here. But let me just show you um, just a couple. Like I said, this, um, to me, I know it looked like a trophy from the kit, but apothecary, since I do essential oils, um, this kind of just gave me that eye, that, that neat little antique. So um, simple, simple. We're just going to, to move these along. And I hope. Oh, shoots. All right. Get my little people up here. You know, I um, I was trying to go through and look at what I have for supplies. And then also with the pumpkins, what I thought was interesting was that, um, you know, each month when you get it, it's just a surprise. And then to be able to um, kind of create based on um oh just ideas how i get my inspiration is i look at cards that i've saved on um on pinterest and then i kind of look at the layout and go okay i can kind of do that so um these pieces just came already pre-cut and i want to get some background to that and so we're going to put that right in the middle and i'll stay with the theme um, of the, uh, the stamps, but I wanted to show you, um, I actually started just a couple months ago, um, labeling my stamps. So this is August, obviously. And then when I'm creating like this, I bring out some of my other months and I look at, um, just, just things that may pop out at me and, um, I thought, you know, I think that that would be too 
small. Ooh, there. Um, anyhow, sometimes um, in going through, um, we collect these beautiful stamps. And then it's like, well, how do I use them or how do I maximize on it? So that's what I do. I sit there and I, I'm not, um, I'm not all conditioned on um, using the stamps that are coming to set. So that's how I kind of um, make my kit or alternates um, really stand out is by using some of the stamps from other kits. So now that I have that done, and I'm going to close this up so that I don't get it all over my hands. Anyhow, super simple. Um, so I already have those down and we're going to put this right in the middle. Anyhow, so um, one of the things I was looking at is um, as we are gearing up for um, Christmas, I thought it would be good. And I've been doing a series. Um, if you check out the channel and my other videos that I have, I actually have um, Christmas countdown. And so I'm doing 12 videos based on Christmas and some of the things that are in the, um, the catalog. So, um, so partly my plan or my goal was, is to, um, show some ideas and really captivate <laughs> the, the Christmas season and get kind of a jump start. I mean, you know, I think my motors normally get going like November so, which seemed to be um, a little behind the eight ball. So by golly, I'm going to try to get that done. All right. So I just want to position this. And I don't want to push down until I know where I want it. Okay. All right. And then I want to put some little dots in. Uh, we'll put one there. We'll put one there. And there. Um, anyhow, I use... I. I held off for a while getting the, the pick tool. And then when I did, and now my piece has already come out, so I gotta get this pick in. Okay. But I like it because, you know, sometimes I don't get all the little pieces up. And um, this thing makes it very, very nice. So, anyhow, back to my countdown. So I've been trying to um, create some things to kind of spur some interest and um, people who maybe have have already gotten some things from the catalogs, maybe you haven't, maybe you don't have a demonstrator, um, or how to get these great supplies. So anyhow, so there's one. See, I've got that with the um, little gold on there. So there's one. And then we're going to use the same kind of theme, but we're going to just take um, regular white cardstock. And I've done the five and a half, well, actually four and a quarter scored at five and a half. All right. So I've taken a piece and just cut that down. So that's going to go right there. But I've been... Um, working on my craft room and getting my Christmas stuff done. The other thing I should be real transparent about is I have been um, really working on my kits. Because, you know, I get the kits. I work on the um, alternates. And then I'm on to the next thing. So that means that I wind up um, with this kit that's not quite done <laughs> so so anyhow yeah so my my um craft room sad to say it's probably like most of our craft rooms all right so i had a little quick intermission since i forgot to turn on my phone <laughs> or silence my phone all right so i've already glued down my apothecary um container and um uh, i had a sentiment that was too big for my other card but it's going to be Perfect for this one. So anyhow, but um, you know that this the tips and tricks um, the um, channel I try to be as um, 
um, pr practical as I can, um, utilize, um, oh, now hold on, I have to think about this. I'm going to stop right, right there because I have to focus since I've, I've taped, I've glued everything down. So if I mess up, I am toast. So let me focus this real quick here. Um, but doing what I can to, whoo, turned out fabulous. Okay. Um, to really make it, um, you know, tips, ideas. I really, really have fun with putting alternates together because sometimes just the, the creativity just kind of goes poof out the door. So, all right. So there's another one. And then let's do one last one, and then we'll call this good. So this one, again, we're just using the same theme. And I've got the base. And I think the base the, uh, is really pretty, the argyle. So it actually has um, some masculinity to it. And, um, and then I did a real um, minimal, um, uh, I didn't fold this yet. So I'll pull this down. Um, minimal edge around it so that it kind of peeks through, but doesn't have a, a large um, uh, border around it. Okay, and then um, I used um, I used this vellum. This is the plush um, specialty paper, and I just thought it gave it a little bit more oomph. And I'm going to just put some snail behind that and anyhow so I like to think that um, people who look at this channel as um, just an inspiration um, I, I, I try to fix my boo-boos if I can on on uh, camera so that you can see for one how to fix the boo-boos, um, and also so that, um, you know, the reality of being able to um, really have, eh, if nothing else, some some lightness to, um, to, our, to our day, so we're not so focused on, on um, serious things, just serious. All right, so this is Pacific Point. Um, I do not have this color. It's one of those blues that's um, really actually one that should be added to it. But for right now, it's not on my list. So um, we are just going to use this itty bitty spot and and uh, utilize utilize the um, the ink from there. I store them kind of upside down kind of keeps them dry because our pads are upside down. So I'm going to put this here so it goes all the way across. I actually need to trim that down. And that way this little jar will go right next to there. Okay. So anyhow, um, I have been um, really enjoying our weather. So I'm not sure what weather you're in. But um, what makes it nice is the fact that... Um, you know, Four Seasons is nice. Some people don't have Four Seasons. So, yeah, it's just kind of nice to, it's not, it's not nice when it's hot, but um, we have hot and humid. We're here in Indiana, and, um, and I'm going to explain here what I'm doing. I'm actually putting glue dots because this specialty paper does not like tumble glue. I'll just tell you that right now. So I've got glue on my hands already. I've got my, um, and I want to take some time so that I can show you my other alternates that I did. But I wanted to make these and kind of have some fun with those. But I, um, um, so we're in Indiana, so it is humid, beyond humid. But anyhow, and then I did put that, um, the bumblebee behind that to kind of pop that color up. And so I think we are going to... Maybe, I know it's always a quandary to me. If I want to pop it up, if I want to have some dimension, I'm going to pop it up. So, anyhow, let's see. What am I talking about? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, so we've got um, my my uh, channel. I've been trying to um, stick with Tuesdays and um, and just make it manageable so that one people can expect um, my my loyal subscribers and those who are joining us. Thank you so much. You know, I am just very very grateful. God has been good. And um, the blessings just keep on flowing. And I'm very thankful because, um, you know, I've, in our ministry, we move and we do projects. Well, in doing so, um, we may start, you know, with one location and I have workshops that I do. And it's wonderful having the workshops and people can get inspiration. And I love I love seeing them go through and go, oh my gosh, I made a card, you know, and they're just so tickled because they've never, never decided, never had a chance or thought about how easy that they could probably do that. So anyhow, um, but then you move and, you know, we're thankful for the next project that God's put us into. So um, anyhow, now that we have YouTube, and it's not, I don't have big fancy software. I don't have um, uh, all the bells and whistles and special lighting, but I do what I can. So anyhow, so these are the three that we just did. And so let me put these here. And then let me show you right quick some of the ones I did. Um, you just saw this one. And this one just takes the um, one inch pieces of that card cardstock and the vellum leaves and then just utilize the back side of the, um, oh, I was going to show you that. Um, hold on real quick. I was going to. Okay, in, in the kit, it comes with the gold, um, you know, for like a, a medal to get like a, a award. And, um, but I wanted to utilize the inside of this. So this is the back side. I didn't want so much because I already have the gold stars and the gold um, little um, banners. So um, anyhow, so there's that one. So what I did was I took the inside of that and popped that out because I'm going to cover it anyways, like this one. So the inside of that, I just utilized this inside to, for the gold to, to maximize that and then to cover that up. There's that specialty paper again, but super simple. Again, um, I did use the bumblebee for the base, and then this piece is cut out from, of course, the inside. Um, and then this one was my fun one, kind of probably my favorite. Um, little guy here is from um, this special, special someone, and the two stamp with the squirrel and the little raccoon. So, um, and I just utilize those edges and the leaves. This is already cut out. So just a simple way of utilizing those pieces. So I'm sticking with the blue theme just for the sake of, of simplicity. And then I'll do the green um, next, next visit. So this one, I'll try to angle best I can, if you can see, that I textured this with the subtle um, 3D dimensional embossing folder and then um, punch this out of the back and then utilize the ribbon that came in the kit and the stars. Oh, and I have one more, sorry, I have one more. Okay, this one is um, kind of the negative space. So the circle, which um, I didn't, I used in a different, a different card. Um, this blue was popped out, so I used a negative and this piece actually was the outside of this piece. But because it was yellow or bumblebee, um, I didn't want to have the yellow on it. So I flipped it upside down and then um, covered uh, or, or circled it around this. So it kind of gives me some really neat layers behind that. Of course, I used the mint macaron for my base to pull out this inside cover and then added some here. So anyhow, so that is my cards. I hope you um, get some inspiration and I will, whoops, 
I will talk to you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.